this shall take you just as it is written. Battle free. Fight. Enslaved. Be gone. Hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. Round one. Fight. Round one, fight.
king of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Welcome to the King of Craig Marga.
fight. Get your cameras ready, folks. Bip. Round one. Fight. Welcome to the King of Ben Brian Fury. <laughs> Round one. Yeah. 
I don't mind commentary. Alright, I'm commentary. The unofficial birch match. Oh, he. Nigay, nice, mid, overhead for Neoslaw, final round for a scheme. <laughs> Add back two. Back two, one with two. Nice, nice, house sweep. Confirm. Very nice. Oh! Final magic, the counter three. Nice side seven, of, nice side seven of the, the four four four. Oh, that's my thirteen. Oh, nice side seven of the up four four. Hell sweep, 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 pin kick. Fucking race drive. One plus two grab. Oh, unfortunate. Huh? Farm. Tofu! I don't need to learn what's minus 13. I just want to watch everything. <laughs> no, I need to learn. Well, I'll pick Xiaoyu again. Alright, so it's emo sign with nothing, actually. Why nothing emo sign? Round one. Fight. Hell sweep. Very good. Right. Block L sweep. There you go. I was saying too. Electric. Oh, trying to trying the big one. Big forget. Big for combo. One went two blue. Nice. Let's go off this. Okay, we do four. Ooh, very nice. Good electric. A running three. I mean the four for three. Yeah. Round two. Emo side one up for nothing. Okay. Oh, 
Nice boss well Nice, That's nice Tempest in. Oh, he did something. Dropped a combo there. That broke uh, that burger cut. 4-4. Four, four. Nice. Hell sweet. Okay, we're doing that one. It's too far. Nice down 4-2. Bam! Oh no! Nice try. Oh wow, he doesn't need to. Dead. Match point emo son. Nice electric. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, nice. How sweet. Even time starting out with. Nice up 4 4. Oh, rain 3. Tyson 3 wrist. Electric. Ooh, we went for electric there. Up 4 4. Nice Twin Lancer. End that round. Pop, pop. Second round, second game, second, fourth, round four, second game. Good electric by Emo again. Oh no! They're dropping everything, boys. Wave we want to for nice health sweep again. One, one, two. Be nice. Nice Emo, that's it. Should drop the combo there. Oh, I dropped it! You still dropped it, Emo! <laughs> Yeah, it's still three. It's two out of three. The emos in losers finals for once. Nice to see it up there. Let's play DVD now. DVD might make this a quick. Nice rematch again, so maybe not make it less 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 crazy. Oh, this is not the semis. That's hard. Oh. My error. Okay, this is final. The Devil Jin versus Devil Jin. Which one's Rich? So I think Red Devil Jin is Emo Sun. Yes, Red Devil Jin is Emo Sun. Let me put that down. Nice life here by DVD. Hell sweet. Bop, bop. Laser scraper. Very nice. Oh, oh, that boop that back. Bop plus the headbutt. Oh. Nice. Oh, block. Oh, he sidestep the that. Very nice. Michael 4. Toe tap. 1 1 2. Electric, electric. Combo by Emo. Round four. Nice electric. Nice with electric. Nice with electric. Healthy blocks. Nice. Sue. Oh no! He trapped the big boy combo too. Nice electric again. Nice, who? Uh oh, one more two. Down four. Very nice. Emo side, take it first game.
And got two stats. Now for one plus two. One, two. Nice launcher by DVD there. Oh. Oh, right to the tackle stats. Hey, you got missed two. Ow, ow, ow. Uh oh. Nice, wake up four. Wake up, kick for the win. DVD up one round. Oh, nice elbow. Nice troll, I mean. Launcher. To the wall. Oh, too hard. Too late. Too much delay on that. The one, two. So you can't after wall splat doesn't get anything as a guarantee. Bop bop. Nice. Delay hop kick. Uh oh. Two, two. Oh, how's he just stay on the ground? Didn't get any mix up there. Bop bop. Oh, don't mess it up. There you go. Oh, they take one. Uh, uh oh. The value two tackle. Nice delay hop. They do hop cake. Tackle one plus two face break. Ready stance. Try for ready stance there. Doesn't work. Nice block. No punish. Bop bop. A block pull. Round four. Fight. Bop bop, bop bop the low! Didn't take the, he didn't take the throw. And attack tackle, next one plus two again! Oh, gets down for one, for this, for this trouble. My goodness, that was fast. It's one, one free pass, one DVD. So we're going to Kazuya now, 1-1. One, one. Alright, so we're gonna see DJ versus Mr. Marduk, Craig Marduk. I mean, Kazuya versus Mr. Marduk here. Down for one. A two? Kazu down back two hits it into this valley. Ready stats again to tackle. Another tackle! Tech, you can't take all of them. That's a one this time. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, Connor this time. Hey, he's dead. The slowest rage drive in the game, KO. So, Stevie's Martyr is pretty devastating. Alright, one plus two grab this time. Bop, 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 bop. <sighs> All right. Oh, one plus two break this time. Spring kick. This is really smart. Uh oh. One two. Nice health sweep. You went double health sweep. Oh, down for one in gaming. Shoulder tackle. Very nice punt. It. The quarter. I appreciate it. Uh, 
appropriate punish. Nice Tetra. Boss saying to that stuff. All right, can anyone run back? This was still possible. Uh oh, bump bump. Raise dance is that stupid stuff. Nice, another one. Oh no, he dropped it. One one two. Oh sweet. One one two again. Four for four, four for four, a tsunami kicks. Trapping DVD in the corner here. Uh oh. Oh little parry to the wall. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> it did it too early! <laughs> it did it too early! <laughs> no! The slowest slowdown ever! No! <laughs> Alright, nice elbow. Down for one. Down for two, down back two. Tackle, two this time, catches him. Dick punch. No, because Hop 8 loses to 2 out of 3. Yeah. Hell sweep. Again, catches him? Okay, not this time. Okay, DVD down one round. This game four. Good blocks, good blocks. Oh, it hits electric. <laughs> My God, one two face dash, bomb bomb down one plus two. Yeah, back to the statue kick. Big knee. Bop bops. Ready stance. Oh, this time he blocks it. All right, big knee. This time he's ducking. Nice. Walk to piston into the wall. All right. Take a four. One, put, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, four, three. <laughs> that little penny. Oh, to the tackle. Guess wrong. Oh. Wake up three. Ready to tackle. Oh, what the? Nice. Watch that too. Switch size. Back turn. Hit him hard. Right to the wall. Uh oh, to do all. Bop bop. Big knee. Catch him ducking. Uh oh. Up for four. Up to attack again. When the down to attack. Ah, oh, guess is wrong. He's dead. I'm number one. All right, so we have DVD versus Kenzaki in Grand Finals. Yes. <laughs> Emo's big punch. No! <laughs> the slowest <laughs> slow mo ever. And Emo, if you did it half a second later, it would have caught you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have DVD versus Kenzaki.
Oh, let me check this. So we're gonna have DD versus Kanzaki. Steve, so DD's gonna play Steve's time. He's been playing Steve for a bit, so. Uh, we'll see. Nice Sonic Fang to catch the round. Nice Saji. All right, okay. Go for that. Really weird. I think it's like Hell Sweep it, and I was like, almost like it's Snake Edge. Really. Pop, Sonic Fang, pop, pop. Oh, nice. Back two. Taki down one round still. Ooh, caught on the low, counter hit. Hey, ooh. That's unblockable. One, one, one. Back flicker, one, one, one. Okay, touch the whole screen. Bop, bop, Sonic Fang. Full screen. Ooh, we went for the tuck. Uh oh. Back. Kempo step. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Headbutt, mid. Final round, do these. He's lucky by two rounds here. Uppercut, nice punish. Nice low parry on the, the down back three, I think. Oh, the full combo with magic four. I mean, make up four counter hit. Big noise. Nice. Uh oh. Just four step. Three, 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 two. All right. Punish accordingly. Ooh, overhead. That's one. Unfortunately for DVD, he had two rounds there, but can't close around. Good adjustments by Kenzaki there. So we're going to Brian now. So DV is in loser. Kanzaki has collected 64 points the last time he was here. And he got some points for the weekly. So he is definitely in the top 10 right now. Top 8 right now in CPS points. Um, we'll see. And DV is definitely up there too. 
One, two, one. Oh, full combo. Back turn, full combo. Don't turn your back on me. Nice helming. Oh, that's punish there. That's just punish there. Nothing there. Low, low, low. Oh, hop kick. Dead. Let's drop this combo. Oh, no. Why are you no punch? Very nice. Can't use that rage right there. You could kill him because it's pixel health. Oh. Nice special step. Nice pick up three. Oh, didn't face the combo. Kick up. Ooh, back one traded with. I think I was careful step down two. Like el down elbow. Isn't it like down back two? I think. I don't know. It's like down two, I think. Oh, big pumps. That's like gap through movie using Fang. Oh, that's why. So good. Oh. Oh, nice Kempo step back. Overall, he's heal time. Full string. Okay. Oh, that mix up. That's so dumb. Unfortunate. Whoa. Parada. 3 plus 4. Nice hit. 2 1 4. Caught 2 1 4. Machine gun punch. Big back to two. Oh, oh. No. Just Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey. JG! It's in the chat. What's up? Show the tackle. Ta baby Tetrum! Oh, the mid. Low, low mid. Get the low, just didn't the mid properly. Try to punish it before the mid came out. Baby Tetrum finished. It's grand finals here, so one more game for Kazaki. Oh! Oh, too far for a confirm. Back one. Okay, launchers. Soccer kick. Oh! I'm punished. Okay. 4 3 2. Oh, back four in the wall. It's got hurt. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's got hurt. Round two. Fight. Nice. Back swing blow. Slash kick. Uh oh, wait a four. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here's some weird stuff. Mock punch, get away from me. Round three. Fight. Oh no! I think that's like the minus 14 one? I don't know. It's a bit low. Nice back to low. Oh, that's the one you can do, like, definitely do, like, that while signing one monster. But it's okay, he still got launch out of it. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh. <gasps> you're the. You're a crazy man, he got him. Nice, re nice.
Oh! That's the clean hit version of the down back three. Oh, two part only. Uh oh. Back. Full combo, you can duck that actually. He ducks the part of the, the middle part, you can actually launch it for him too. Hey. hey, hey. Oh no, wake up four at hits because it's. Oh my! Oh, hey, hey, don't get hit by the fucking. Oh no! Oh! He's dead! <laughs> Kimchi Rage Arts for the win! And that's it for Tekken 7. We're going to end with the Kimchi Rage Art. Shakes her hands, and we're going to call it a night. Thanks, everybody, for watching Tekken 7. We'll be back tomorrow for Novice and our weeklies on Saturday. So we'll be back for, I think, Fexel next. Am I a Novice? I don't know. You consider yourself a novice, you can consider yourself a good player, just come out. Come out, play, test your skills. If you're really good, keep like compete for like CPS money, CPS points. Just here, just have fun. Alright, so we're gonna do a quick advert. Quick advertising here. Tekken 7 is not up next. But we do have all the Vancouver BSP BSP events. So you see all those Vancouver Street Battle on what, Wednesday to Sunday. You see on there, Oki Zemi 13, a Canadian Pro Tier Series ranking event. Three-star event, 192 points for the winner. It's happening on February 23rd. February 23rd, registration at Smash Lodge at Oki Zemi 13. Toronto is the Smash Monthly. Toronto is the day after Oki Zemi, February 24th. Smash Lodge is at Toronto 13. And we have our member. Membership saves you. Some money if you come every every day at VSP. Because remember, it's $55 and drop in $12.50. So if you play, play at least four times, you, four or five times, you will reap the benefit. Vertigear, our official chair of Vancouver Street Battle. Follow them on vertigear.com and Vertigear on social media. Our new partner, Collective Cup, serving, serving fans with esports and gaming series, Shaker Bottles. Uh, check out coupon VSB10 at collectivecup.com. Get 10% off of your of checkout purchase. And as Vancouver Street Battle is Monday to Sunday, if you see the hours on head, we are three minutes from Aberdeen Station. Come by if you want to play some good, good ass Tekken and some good fighting games. And we have these free merch, hoodies, shirts, and pins. And BSP, in our melee weekly tournament series, VSB Sundays, Sat Wednesdays, Blaze Blue, Dragon Ball Z, and our Smash Melee and Ultimates happens on Wednesdays. Thursday nights, we have Tekken 7, Fighting EX Layer, Soul Calibur 6 and Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition and our Novice Fridays events, VSB Fridays, Ultimate, Street Fighter 5 and Tekken 7 and our rotating anime games. Today, this week is Play Through Cross Tech and our Saturday weeklies, Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition, Dragon Ball, Tekken, Soul Calibur, Play Through Cross Tech, uh, Guilty Gear of 2, Tetra Fiction, Play Through Tetra Fiction, Under Night and Sunday is our Weeklies at VSB, Smash, Melee, and Ultimate. And, and you see Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is what you see there, what your games are offered and what time they are at. And I'll be... And this is Oak Eliki, and I'll be signing off. See you guys soon. And someone will be replacing me for commenting Spexel and Street Fighter V.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Morty on the mic here commentating some Bexel action here at Vancouver Street Battle, Canada's premier gaming destination. For real, though, we are freaking sick. This place is awesome. We've got the highest production value here in Canada, probably by far. We are, we have some of the strongest players in Canada for a variety of games. It's pretty sick. We're great. And we have Kenny, the Air Ryu Lamb, is like the best TO dude running the whole shebang. So now we're gonna have some winner's finals action. Currently we're doing top three for Fexel, so it'll be Geki, Razira, and myself sitting in that waiting for the loser of this match. And no surprises, Whoa. Juggernaut from Geki. We can't see it yet, but we have Juggernaut from Geki, which is actually crazy. It's an S after the T, but how's it going, Kobe? <laughs> nice, God, this stage makes the game look so freaking pretty, dude, for real. All right, opens up, Razira. This is actually, Razira won the last time they fought. He won, Razira won Grand Finals, which was great. Pressure, lots of pressure from Geki. That swords, but the trade is gonna be advantage. Whoa! He got there actually after the invincibility had run out. Nicely done. And then he actually managed to beat the super with the shoulder because it, the invincibility had run out, or he got it after the active frames. Oh, the whiff on the shoulder is gonna be punished with the super. And we're getting that guard break charged up. Razira will keep doing that overhead. Wow, not no fear of the bomb, just does the anti-air. God, Garuda is pretty in this game, man. Man, that's uh, not as much damage as you think. Forward throw. Jackie. Oh, he goes to the cross of super, dude. That was so sick. Or the cross up setup. That is not going to beat. I really hate that you can't punish it. You can't jump over. You can't punish it. You have to be like way behind him if you ever want to punish it. Or jump over it. But I think it would just autocorrect at that point, which is really frustrating. But something interesting, Geki going with that uh, Juggernaut deck. He's normally rocking the Shinobi or the Ninja, the... I don't remember what the deck is actually called. So he's got... He's not uh, working towards the guard break currently, but he is with the Hades, and that's really interesting. Again, nope, gonna get hit by the Dark Knight. I love the way he says all of his stuff. He sounds so edgy. Nice tech. Oh, it goes over the bomb. I really like that. Wake up, super. Goes to the overhead, but he doesn't have guard break quite yet. Just trying to get it so he can use it for the rest of this game. Oh, wow. That was a really late hit on the the uh, heavy kick. That was actually really interesting. Okay, he's just going to take it cleanly. I really like that in this game that the the time matters. Like, timing out someone is actually like a super viable strategy. Because there's the rounds are so damn quick in this game. And it becomes a strategy at some point. It goes to the overhead. It does count towards the building it, but unfortunately it does not... Uh, it obviously doesn't hit, and that's bad. So wake up, builds it. Wake up something. I wonder what it is. Are you getting hit by supers? I'm not super sure how you build Hades, but we'll find out. I'm paying attention. Oh, the jumps over the dark wire, and that is going to be some damage. Oh, the illusion gets him out of it. Actually, Razira won a game, or won a round because of... Oh, he gets hit by the bot, and that, that actually saved him. Oh, and he misses the combo. Oh, he just wakes up super. That's going to kill. God damn. That was a that was a little bit of a mess. But that works very nicely. 
Geki taking game one, and it is going to be two out of three all the way through. Um, we're running a little low on time, so we can actually get out of here before Round a decent time. One, fight. God, look at that transition. Thank you, Air. And the, again, the overhead just in neutral, trying to get it built out. Oh, he goes to the super to bait the punish super late. Again, the overhead. Doesn't have the bar, though. He's just willing to throw it out to build. And it's working. This round is super in Geki's favor. And he goes to the DP after the hit. That was really nice. Yeah, the uh, the transitions look sick, Kenny. If you did, the transitions look sick. Did you do them yourself? Kind of, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Again, the overhead blocked. And guard break, actually, this is the first time I've ever seen Geki use it where he has guard break. And he's actually going to finish it before Razira. Like, this is nuts. The pressure that he's been putting on has been huge. He's just got to... The Razira just hasn't got a clean hit off where he can build it. Again, the jump over the dark wire. Really nice. Oh, he gets hit by it this time. The bomb's going to fuck it up, though. Oh, he goes to the DP after. And that's the thing, is like the punish is... Ooh! A Abode! <laughs> Oh, just a run of sweep. Six seconds left on the clock, kind of forces both players' hands. Round three, fight. Uh, this is actually match point now for Geki, because it's two out of three. I hope they remember, otherwise the is going to be kind of not happy. Super, lots of damage. Super, oh, he get blocks it. Oh, he actually misses the cancel. Oh, he's going to get the punish. That was awesome. An illusion actually not doing nothing there. The setup. Interesting choice from Geki. Yeah, Razira has a really, or D Dark has a really practical way of getting the guard break finished. EX Arrow almost available for him now. Oh, he grabs him out of the, the pressure. God, it sounds so funny. Whoosh. Not quite. Looking like he's staying alive. Yep, lands back in the bomb. Not a whole lot you can do about that. Round four. Ice down, Razira staying in the game. Pressure now from Geki. Oh, goes to the DP, but he actually loses. I really like, oh, it actually whiffed, but it's going to be there, and he can cancel it. Oh, the super from Razira actually wins. That was sick. Just gets himself out of the corner. Probably a good idea. Throw from Geki. Again, the cross of super, dude. That's so sick. Or the cross of DP. God, it's so silly, man. What a character. Doesn't hit, but he moves forward. Oh, the cross up! That sh oh, it's not gonna do it because Geki didn't have the super that would reach at that range with that special. But time is running out now. Seven seconds left on the clock, and he oh, he has so much time to make up. No, he didn't do the combo. And Geki's gonna DP. He's gonna do something, and it isn't quite close enough. The DP keeps him safe. Yo, it's two out of three, isn't it? Yeah, so that'll be it. Geki moving on to Grand Finals, and now it'll be myself fighting against Razira, I believe. So he should not get up. <laughs> and now I believe Geki will come and commentate for a little bit. What's everyone? This is Geki. What's going on? Oh, uh, Kenny, by the way, Twitter is Geki or C. Yeah. What's going on, guys? This is Geki. Uh, I am the one you just saw playing Garuda with Juggernaut. So what a lot of people are probably wondering that don't know too much about this game, why I use Juggernaut when usually I actually use Nightmare. 
So the reason is because I was labbing and labbing, and I was like, I feel like Nightmare doesn't really give me much in this matchup, right? So, <laughs> yeah, no longer power bottom. <laughs> uh, basically, because the Hades armor absorbs all of D-Dark's supers, and if he does EX prominence on wake up, I can literally block before the prominence hits me. And what's nice is that if I run at him as a meaty and try to like meaty button, even if I don't press a button and just run up to bait like a wake up, if I actually get hit on purpose, what happens because of Hades doesn't, it causes no, it doesn't remove my, uh, it doesn't give me hit stun. I'm like sort of in hit stun, but not really. But basically, because of the super armor, I'm able to actually block after getting hit because Dark Wire, or because of Dark Shackle and Dark Knife, two D Dark Supers, don't have enough hit stun to prevent me from blocking after a period of time, which is really good. It's really good. Uh, and not only that, Garuda's back heavy punch, the first hit of it, it's two hits, it's the shoulder tackle and then that lunging punch, that actually has, the first hit of it has a projectile uh, hitbox. So you can actually blow up D-Dark's bombs up close, you can punch the Dark Wire and then use the second punch to punch through it. And not only that, the guard break with Hades is incredibly scary. So, And hopefully you'll see more of the guard break. I didn't use it too much, I, I just built it at the time, but we're going to see Morty against Razira now. Morty on that new wave. He's on, he's dropped Infinity for Fantasista because he loves doing reversals at, on a wake-up timing. Or on a reversal timing, I should say. And you'll see in this match, if he builds it, he'll build so much meter after landing a certain amount of reversals. And a reversal timing thing is anything done on wake up or after immediately coming out of block stun or being air reset and doing it on landing. But Razira studying really well. Super strong player here. He won the last weekly and uh, put himself at first place for the Vancouver Fexel season. Solid round by Morsi so far. A little shaky on the side of Razira. Ooh, and I love the stage. Gorgeous. Oh, wake up Dark Knight. Faded by Morsi. Yes, full bar to convert. The goes for the low forward into the target. Comp unique attack. Justice Fist. Triple break again. Oh, and Goose goes for the DP. He's trying to save a bit of meter. He has a huge life lead now. Doesn't need to overcommit too much. He's halfway to M. Gross. With that first Gogi there. Which builds when he does reversals. And mind you, you don't have to have an invincible move to do a reversal. It can be anything. Wake up Fireball, wake up Command Grab, doesn't matter. Even wake up Super works too. So he has the zero counter, so the number is going to go higher and higher. So the higher the number is, the more meter he builds when he does these reversals. And I think he could kill with this. Oh, the illusion saves his life. He could punish, and he does. Oh my god, I think he can finish him. Oh, he doesn't finish the combo. Oh, it gets clipped. He tried to run forward to punish the stagger. Wow, Razira comeback round. That was close. And one away from building guard break as well. EX Arrow halfway there, just needs to block two more jump ins, but Illusion's ready to go. Every round you only get one Illusion, but it activates after a certain amount of damage is dealt. So usually a good way for the opponent to bait it is you do a damaging combo without spending bar, and then once Illusion's gone, then you use your full meter. But it's really good against Alan because he recovers a lot on some of his specials. There we go, pull him in. Nice, just going for the consistent damage. Oh, and the guard break, he's going to get a full punish here. No bar, but look at this damage. That was meterless, and the forward throw. And M grows level two now. So it actually stays the entire game, and the number doesn't go away. It just keeps going higher and higher. Wow, nice DP. Stop the cross-up attempt. Oh, and wake up button, or wake up dark knife. Oh, and the explosion can make the, the animation just stop. But the fireball kept coming. Oh, Dark Wire's the low forward. And it's just keeping it clean. With the meter build, corner carry. Oh, Triple Break tries to cancel. He built some of his disrupt, but he lost it because he wasn't successful. Oh, and the guard break. He could kill from this, I believe. And he just built that bar, but he didn't confirm. Oh, I'm going to the Dark Shackle, trying to chip out, but gets Triple Break on the other side. Morty coming back. Justice Fist in the corner recovers so long. He didn't cancel. I think he missed it. Damn. So close. So close. But again now. Morty adjusting ever so slightly. Razira taking that first game. When just his fizz to start off the round. Okay, and into the Dark Knight, or into the Heart Attack. Using the wire and the bomb to set some space and gain a life lead of some sort. 
Well, the Vizier gets clipped and opened up with that low forward. Cancel. And Morty using the arena up again. Oh, empty jump, back throw? Okay, I think maybe command grab by accident. Wanted it. Oh, not a punish and gets Dark Shackle. Not a full combo though. I don't know what he said, but he's enjoying himself. Again, using the Soul Force to keep the Dark Wire at bay, but gets pulled in eventually. Razier needs to make some damage happen. Using the Kara Explosive. Nice jump in, doesn't fully convert. He's gonna land on it and then get punished. It's gonna be big. Razier, I don't know if he has time. Oh, and just gets jabbed for his trouble, trying to press a little too hard. And Morty pumping himself up with the Allen Scream. Has <laughs> run under low. Very difficult for Allen to uh, anti air neutral jumps because he has to DP. He has no, nothing that hits directly above his head like a Crouch Fierce, like Razira's D Dark. Very interesting. Okay, goes for the standard chain, Street Fighter 4 style. Doesn't work at max range there, but gonna go into the Dark Shackle now is Razira. See what the mix up is. Car Bomb oh, answered with a wake up DP. See, he's gonna go for more riskier wake up options because he wants to build that M Gross as high as possible, so he has the advantage. Again, staggered jabs and getting the confirm, but it doesn't confirm at that range. A little too much pushback with those jabs at the beginning. And again, Morty rushing in, backdashing, getting some space, and then baiting with a DP, but getting punished now. Razira answering back. Round of peace in game number two. Okay, very nice dark wire. There you go. Yeah, timeouts are real in this game. I love that fact. You don't see that too often in some fighting games. Oh, and the dark shackle to bait the punish on the dark wire. He was just close enough. What a smart call by Razira. I'm gonna try to go for a cross up. Morty answering with a jump forward to avoid the cross up situation. Nice choice. Oh, and the illusion breaks him out. He can punish almost, not quite. It was a little too far. If he fell in the corner, maybe. Oh, I'm gonna activate into the fire force. Got it. And into the forward throw now. One touch will basically kill. Nice delayed tech on side of Razira. And again, making Razira work for his damage here. Nice, goes for damage, doesn't want to spend bar, maybe wants to save it, going for the guard break, I think he can kill! Oh my god, the Dark Shackle, is going to be enough time? I think it is, put him down, go to sleep. And he has guard break active into the next round with a healthy bar meter to go. And he's going to be on match point now. And M. Morty has not been able to build M. Gross whatsoever, plus no P. Reversal to build more damage on his reversals. Razira's been really hindering uh, Morty's options and making him afraid to use stuff on Wake Up, but the guard break gonna open him up. Big damage here, huge stagger on the low forward to catch him holding back. This is gonna be big damage, what a reset. Oh, gets the cross up though, doesn't finish the combo. Hesitation, oh, tries a command grab. Nice tech on the side of both players. Oh, on the forward throw, Morty not afraid. Life deficit, doesn't matter, throw baited, and he's gonna get the triple break. I think he can do big damage here, but Illusion is active. I don't think he knows what combo to use to proc it, but one touch and the cross up gonna take it for Razira. Moving on, Morty eliminated from the tournament. Great stuff. I, I saw that little adjustment there, but not fast enough. Morty really uh, could not activate your M Gross, actually. Your, uh, your Gogi, he was really preventing you from using it. Interesting. Oh, okay, okay. So you're saying because he was getting free wake up off of it and he's kind of conditioned to afraid of it. Right. Okay. So what I was saying is that because, wait, why? Well, yeah, my CPHS. Uh, so because I was, uh, my deck is completely, uh, the little deck at the bottom. Um, so. What the little, the, my deck at the bottom does is that when I do reversals, which means uh, inputting things as I uh, get up from being knocked down or from blocking, if I do them on the frame that I get up, then uh, I build extra meter. So, and it stacks. So if I do it, it stacks infinitely. So if I do every reversal I do, it get, builds more meter. So I built like, I think each of the bars is like 55 or is 50 meter. 
maybe, if someone can correct me on that. And I can, I've gotten it to where it's, like, I do a reversal fireball and it builds me, like, 70, a bar and a half just from doing it. I can, do, if I do a reversal super, I can, uh, I can build a bar from doing a super, suspend it and immediately build it back. It's, it's crazy. Um, and so, because of that, I have also a, uh, thing for doing DPs, for wake up DP. Uh, and so because of that, and he knows that I want to build the, the reversal, I was just like, this is fine. I'm going to let him think I'm going to build it. And then I'm going to use that to uh, get up, get wake up for free. All right, anyways, grand finals now. Geki on winner's side, Razier on the loser side. We know Razier just played me, so uh, that works. Wow. God, you guys love Faxel. Again, we're here at, this is Grand Finals at Vancouver Street Battle, Canada's premier destination, fighting game destination. Geki's one of the, kind of the fathers of Fexel right now. He's really, really pushing. He's single-handedly keeping the scene alive here in Vancouver. Him and Razira, generally, and Bruce, another very, very strong, he's a Jack player, Cracker Jack player. And they generally compete for top three, and then I'm thrown in there whenever Bruce doesn't show up because I have great fundamentals, but I don't really play the game properly. <laughs> Anyways, both players on, Geki on full bar, both now on full bar. The wake up super is gonna hit. Overhead doesn't quite land. Oh, but he just stands and takes the super, man. Come on. I mean, I do do the same thing, like that. The super, the punish, not met. Not in time. Or he, I guess the punish was dodge with the super. So I'm really interested. I know Geki... <coughs> excuse me. I know Geki explained to you guys why he was using the Gogi deck. Juggernaut. And I still don't know because I never got the explanation. Because there's got to be a specific reason why he wants to use the Hades. Oh, we see. Geki gets the life lead here and there's nothing DDR can do. I really like that. Big damage from that combo. Once he gets to the garbage, man, I'm so scared of it. If I try and jump it and jump it too late, then, oh, there he gets the overhead and combos into the super. If he gets it too late, or if I try to jump it too late, then you just get juggled and he gets like a big combo for it. Nice tech. Full bar on Geki's side. I really hope we see that cross up DP setup. That was really cool. Gonna spend some of it here. Again, the overhead. <laughs> just spins away. Lands on the bomb, that should be the round. Razier keeping himself alive here, almost building that guard break. Nice down from Razier. He got momentum super early in that game, or that round, and was able to hold on to it for the rest of the round. Just that life lead made it really hard for Geki to sit back. That's what's really nice in this game is that the it's really important. The life lead is important because there's not a lot of time. I just really like the shorter clock. Oh man, that illusion just did not help at all. I believe it's just gonna hold it. That's easily punishable. Spends the bar, he's gonna get a setup here. It's not gonna get a setup here. Not dark wire. I keep thinking he says not quite. Slide it super, oh he gets dark wire. Wazir is shaking his head off of that one. That just sucks. Illusion, I believe it randomly breaks you out of a combo. It might not be random, it might be, but so that's when he does, um, you'll see it kind of pause when he goes into the super, and then Razira just kind of falls out with these like blue particles. So that's Illusion breaking him out of the combo. It was part of the reason why I was hesitant to do, because Alan can spend three bars if he gets um, the rising kick super. And it knocked him out of my super combo multiple times when I did um, Justice Fist. And Justice Fist, oh my god, DP in the DP. A Justice Fist recovery is like 97 frames because he's got a big animation after. It's ridiculous. And so I actually would get punished for it. I think it happened uh, actually in the set that we had as well. One of the rounds. I think I lost the the one round because I did it. Assuming that it would hit. Super now for Geki. 
Good damage. Gets the setup. Time, you can't cross that up, man. He's the time, and this is right. Like, Regeki can't afford to be patient, and Razira has all the time in the world. Yep. No, you can just wait it out. It's really good. Just build meter for the next round. Round two. Or is he taking round one, finding a little momentum for himself? <laughs> ah, super. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be able to confirm off of the bomb, the anti air. That was pretty sick. Oh, he tries to go over the bomb, but Razira runs up and baits it. That was really nice. Yeah, I got homies in the chat. Coming in for their boy. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, follow. That'll be, that way, when you guys uh, watch the next time, it'll be that much easier to get to the channel instead of finding a link. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, the safe jump! Let's go! That should be it! Yeah. Yeah, lots of damage. And he still hasn't gotten the Juggernaut deck, man. It's actually crazy. God, transition is clean! <laughs> oh, he walks into it. I know how I feel. We'll go to the cross-up setup, but Gekki, nice block. Kenny, don't don't fall for the bait. Don't fall for it. <laughs> oh God. All right, Razir, getting the comp. God, the guard break combo does so much damage, dude. Oh, and now he gets. Oh, nice jump out of it. Oh, be nice, guys. <laughs> See, that's illusion there, knocking him out of the super. Air to air, and look, the time is so tight. Like, actually, I don't know who winning right now. Oh, it'll be Geki. Now, just back away. Yeah, time again. <laughs> Come on, guys, I gotta make a good impression. Not that I've already haven't made one already. As the Dark Wire does present a problem for Geki trying to move in horizontally. Dark, or, uh, D Dark can be played as kind of like a, a zoning character, but he's also like the setup character in the same sort of fashion. He's really good. Oh, he just overheads! I love it, man! He's just holding down back. There again is the overhead guard break now built. Hades just about built. He's just gonna again. We've seen that before. We saw it in loser or winners finals. The super from Azira is a better. All right, now Hades available for Geki, and this means that the only moves that can knock Geki out, so that can stagger Geki, are moves that are. Um, Oh, Darkwire, he's gonna be able to somehow, he's not gonna be able to get the life lead. So the only moves that can hit him, that can knock Geki out of his moves, are sweep and specials. Oh wait, that's it. Wow, that's it, all right, yeah, Geki wins. Man, that was, uh, that was really interesting. So we're gonna now, yeah, good for him. Uh, normally he would come over and talk about his win for a little bit, but I believe, are we just doing winner's finals right now? Okay, we're doing winners finals for Street Fighter now, so I gotta hop over onto that. Ideally, I'm gonna see if we can have anyone commentate, so you guys aren't left alone. Um, but yeah, so Geki wins Fexel, manages to take his mantle back. I am really interested in hearing about because he didn't really. I don't really think that his deck choice really influenced that victory, to be honest, more than Shinobi would do. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I will try and find a commentator for you guys. Thank you, for everyone, for tuning in. We're going to transition over to Street Fighter. I am not super sure. We have a um, we have a few guys from Victoria or from the island that come and play off at our monthlies sometimes. I don't know if there's a meetup or anything like that. If you join the Discord, I don't know if you hit the exclamation point Discord, 
command there. I believe we they're in the Discord and you could talk to them. All, most of the BC guys are just in the Discord. If I really hope that works and that I'm not just baiting you. Guys, uh, I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Anyone in chat? Oh well. Okay, cool. Thanks, Flame. So, um, our tennis uh, already got eliminated. Uh, we were starting for the Street Fighter top four, I guess. Since I was fifth. Yeah, top four. So, uh, I don't have the bracket here. I have no idea who's gonna play. And this is my first solo flight as a commentator, so I apologize in advance. I, I'm no near as good as the other guys here, so sorry for that. So we're gonna have a Geki versus Morty. Uh, Kenny, is this first to three? First to three, yeah. So we'll be having first to three. Um, Probably a Fong versus Vega match. Or maybe Zeku from Diki. We'll see. But hey, uh, Morty said that there are those some some boys back home uh, seeing his match. Oh, so I figured that most people would be rooting for Morty, right? Oh, nice. Spare the word, guys. Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, we have Street Fighter on stream among other games, so please tune. Uh, usually we have good matches, and well, that's it. <laughs> so Fong versus Vega. I think the last couple of matches has been in Morty's favor. Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Morty with the Laru pressure. Kick is white. Uh, fill with the fireballs. Geki right now using uh, the Vipressa very well against Spawn. Doesn't the Morse has an answer right now? They've been keeping him honest. Nice CX Barcelona setup. Geki one on the board. Or with the X hand, they're safe. Okay. Nice cross up again by Geki. Change instance, Morty checked it because it, it is unsafe if you're ready for it. So don't. Uh, so he didn't let Geki change instance last. Once again. Now he got away with it. The X Barcelona. Nice pressure for Geki right now. Fung has a few options uh, on the corner. They just have like the reversal and the EX dash. But they both use the throw, so have to be aware of it. He's not safe. Nice dash up throw. Geki with a relatively quick victory right now. Over Morty. Uh, Geki has been using um, the cross-ups very well. And it seems that since uh, Morty tries to keep away with the smoke, he hasn't been ready for this. Let's see if there's adjustments. 
Instead the opportunity to punish from the team. Right, nicely punished by Morty. Barcelona to get out the corner. Got back to the corner. Weird. Once again. Nice patience from Geki on defense. Let's knock down plus buttons. Lights. Geki has been so good with those lights, uh, although it's unsafe. He, uh, when he doesn't have trigger, he always go for it and usually it's right. Nice anti air by Moxie. The Allegria has been triggered. No more to has to be aware because if he tries to punish some move, he may, be get, he may get caught by the counter. You have to. Oh, there you go. So you see, like, Morty took a while to punish this light because probably he was thinking that maybe we would, get, would give the reversal of the trigger. Crouch, crouch. Nice. Next hands are safe. They're exchanging a lot of buttons right now. The new season combo from Geki. This is the command grab, nice read by Morty. Yet safe hands once again. Nice patient from Geki. Once again with the cross up. Geki pressing buttons after the EX roll got countered. Now it's have to eat some pressure. Have to wait for a good opportunity. Universal. Nice counter poke. Once again, the cross ups. Geki getting a lot of millage from. Mileage? I don't know, sorry, I'm not a Navy speaker. Mileage from the cross ups right now. Less buttons, got trapped. Nice overhead attempt, nice block from, from Morty. 1-1. One, one, one. Remind you that this is first to three. Nice patience by Morty. Didn't crack. I'm still amazed by how he blocked the overhead last minute. It's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Once again, getting a lot of mileage from jumping. This is good safe. Nice punish from Geki. Plus buttons. Try to come in, try to the, the drag. We got tagged. Now since he's on you, once again he tried for the cross up that's been working, but this time Morty uh, anti airs it. Patient from Zwaite. Now, uh, as I said, Morty has to be aware of that a uh, Geki can cancel uh, any um, manual safe moves into trigger to re trigger, so he has to be aware of it. Now Morty, I like to see the adjustments not allowing Geki with the cross-ups. But Geki now mixing it up with uh, command grab. Usually he uses more command grabs, but until this, uh, so far in the match he had been using uh, not, not that much. So it's in, I think he got Morty by surprise. Take throw. Slide, then again, nice punish by Morty. Once again, GK with the Barcelona, maybe try efficient some cross up or even an air throw. The neutral seems pretty agitated right now, a lot of buttons, a lot of uh, movement. Uh, movements. Pretty uh, thrilling to see. Once again, GK with the cross up. Nice patience by GK right now. Don't want to deal with the fireballs. Got reset it and, and, and got needed. Plus buttons right now. Patience from from Ricky. Then this lights. Probably is looking for the activation right now. Probably yeah. There you go. Barcelona. Nice throw. This wasn't a cross up. I had no idea. Oh, he got tried backdash, I think, so he got reset it. Instead of taking the full combo. 
Now it's setup time. Oh, no, no. Didn't finish his meal. Oh my god, this was such a good uh, EX Barcelona. Amazing. Amazing work by Geeky. 2 1. We got ourselves a match, guys. This is our tennis, directly from DSV. Two wrist street battles, stay tuned. We have games almost every day of the week, except Mondays and Thursdays. On Tuesdays, sorry. So, once again, the busy neutral. A lot of buttons, a lot of jumpings. Ambiguous cross up from Orts. Again in Barcelona, nice setup, nice cross up, it worked. So again, changing instances. Yes, safe fence. Once again, nice anti air. Uh, Geki has to be having a lot more success on jumping into the cross ups. So every time he is on the cross up, he gets anti air. Oh, there you go, just because I said it. <laughs> nice combo. Season two, new. Whoa, this is new. A lot of skating though. I don't know. If, uh, not sure if it was worth it. Now he has no. He has no bar. And Morty with a lot of resources, probably looking for an activation here. Probably I'll see like a Yax hands or Yax dash to get out there. Yeah, there you go. Set up time. Interesting choice by Geki with the Yax roll. It's uh, projectile invincible and get out of the corner. Nice. Geki, playing out of his mind today. Nice fireballs, plus, nice buttons, smoke, neutral jump. Um, now, um, once again, big punishing, uh, Morty attempts. Marty risking some EX safe hands. Nice punish by Marty. Uh, well, um, about your comment, Wave Rush, uh, is Geki playing less recklessly? Uh, well, he is, but uh, in this match specifically, I'm liking he's been using the jumpings uh, very well, especially the cross ups. Because it seems that there is like a dead zone on. On Marty on Pounce entire air. I can see behind it. Setup time on Vigos. Nice block, but he eventually got uh, the pressure. Final round. Fight. Smoke. Getting away for now. Plus. It was low. Once again. Was it a trap? That's interesting. I have no idea how much EX hands are on block. Someone can tell me. Maybe we got it. Fresh counter with some heavy. Throw. Bad situation for Vicky on the corner. There you go, Morty. Putting one on the board. And once again, I'm sorry for my sloppy uh, commentary. It's my first my first solo fight, so I apologize. We really have much better commentators, especially Toga. He's watching. We miss you. And I hope you come back soon. So once again, Geki with the dash-up throw. Some pressure with, me with mediums. Uh, I like how right now Geki is using the extra claw range to, to try to get uh, behind the smoke. Because uh, right now it seems that Morty got a little better at anti airing, so he's not getting as much millage. Oh, there you go. Straight up, straight up uh, jumping. Yax dash to get out of the corner. Oh, thanks guys, I uh, appreciate it. I thought it got better though. Um, the instance changes, no punish from Morty. Morty once again tried the Yax hands. And lift the throw. Morty probably looking for an activation right now. And he, he, oh, oh my god. 
I don't even know what to say, man. These, these Yax Barcelonas they get uh, going up, it's, they're like ridiculously uh, accurate from Geki. Never, I, I never saw him like that. But... Nice throw, dash up throw, plus bottoms. The, the double jab confirm. I actually like when he does a triple jab confirm. Wants to be pretty good at it. Once again, Barcelona tried to get out of the smoke. Passing bar though. He got reset, it probably tried on backdash, which is good since he, he, he didn't allow for the, the combo. Little jump, cha change instances, no punish from Morty. And things reversal, a lot of pressure from Keki right now. He's probably looking for activation, there you go. Answer to a throw, nice tag by Morty. Nice counter pose, he has Barcelona. It's on the corner, tough spot for, for Morty, probably, probably we'll see. Uh, Yax hands or Yax dash. Anti trade. Oh my god, he almost got a counter. It seems, I don't know if Morty just mistimed it or delayed it uh, on purpose to get the counter. But either way, it's a pretty amazing uh, action and reaction for both players. Yax hands, throw. Once again, Barcelona, but got caught by the. I think it was uh, Fireballs. Activation, the trigger too. Changing instances, Morty has not been checking the, the instance changes. Another thing that Geki usually do, usually does, um, it's to use a lot of command throws to get people unaware. But in this match, that I think personally that he's saving it for a more like surprising moment. So he's been conditioning Morty to not expect it. Oh, there you go. I was right, guys. <laughs> Nice, another command throw, I told you guys. There you go, he did exactly what I thought he did. He he waited for the conditioning Morsi during the entire match, not expect the command throws, and then got like two of them. Amazing play by Geki. Uh, actually guys, I think maybe uh, also Morsi has a little bit of jitters. Um, but still he played very well, uh, not taking anything away from Geki. Geki's playing uh, in a level that uh, I don't remember seeing recently. Like improving improving a lot and now he'll join me on comment right there you go my buddy Kiki. hey oh sorry oh sorry is this that way doesn't matter so i was just telling with uh, let oh. you know this i was just telling them Matches that hard. like you usually use a lot of command throws yeah. but you didn't for like Four, four matches and now I think like you're storing them for the last round yeah. to get a surprise, right? You know, well, you know why? Because I did it very early in the whole set and the first time I tried it, he jumped. So I was like, I need to mix it up yep. way more. But you don't even mix it up. You conditioned him to not expect it. It's expected. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Because at least playing me, I don't remember what around that you hadn't done at least one command throw. And you did like three or three matches with no command throws. And I was like, just telling them like, this is weird. Geek is not using command throws. I think he's conditioning him to get him know, later. But did you in the see? Match. But did you see how I was, I was trying to just throw him instead, so that at least if I can't condition him to stay on the ground, I can condition him to tech. Oh, I see. Because I tried shimming him a few times as well, I and uh, I tried. Let's, let's switch. Yeah, yeah, sure. I tried shimming him a few times, and uh, I was unsuccessful yeah, when true. I did. So I thought, in the last round, I, was, I thought to myself, I was like, well, he's going to tech my throws. He's not going to get shimmied, so what's left? I have to command grab him. I see. Right? Or stagger low, but that's a little more risky against Fang, I find. Because Vega's lows that convert are very yeah, slow I, I, compared I, I, to Fang's lows. Actually, like, personally... I or his buttons, anyway. Like, uh, you, as you guys know, um, Fang is uh, it's all from... Uh, Mercy's from Otawa, Otawa, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Mercy always eliminate... Uh, beats me in tournament, yeah. and in part because I've been trying to improve my footsie at the same time that he has like the best lows in VSV. Like, I always get caught by lows uh, playing against him. Oh, Almost well, always. Well, his sweep or his... Uh, oh, the sweep, the, the canceling, the, the... Well, he only has two lows. Yeah. He only has two lows. Yeah, but he's very good at, at doing them. Mm -hmm. It's like you with the slide, but the, your That's slides true. don't don't convert as much. That's true. Like, uh, 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 you can't combo on Beaver. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. Co he confirms out of combos and also a lot of pressure. That's true. And then I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to... Yeah, everyone has a beard. 
in yeah. uh, commentary and in top four. Vancouver Street Beards. Yeah, Vancouver Beard Battle. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. Okay. No, 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 yeah, Vancouver Street yeah. Beards. Yeah. Round one. Street Beards. So, uh, we have like a pretty amazing match. It's a run back from last... Uh, this the, is. The, this is yeah. a run back. Yeah. And they, it was super close too. Yep. And then the match before that was the other way around and it was super close. So, yeah, true. who's done uh, more homework? Yeah, for the guys who know, uh, Shades is my boy from Brazil, like me. Yep. Uh, and I'll be rooting like internally, but I try to make the commentary as well as rooting for Chase as possible. Yeah, 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 exactly. Nice perception on Morty on punishing on the second hit of the uh, overhead yeah. right now. Yeah, I like the way he's playing. He's been kind of really slippery and trying not to stay in one spot. Because Chase like to lock you down with aggression, right? Yeah. And uh, a little bit of preemptive playstyle, sort of like yeah. Daigo, I, I think. Like a lot of hard reads early on. Well, sh uh, Shades, uh, you guys see, uh, it's oh, a really triple old in the track. Ages? Are you serious? Yeah, it's probably some reset oh. right now, overhead, I mean. Oh, meaty headbutt. Wow. What an answer by Morty, though. Yeah. <gasps> no punish. Oh. Wow. I can't believe you. It's so ballsy. <laughs> wow. So uh, I would have died. Yeah, so you guys see, uh, Shades is pretty, a pretty active player. He's always doing something, pressing something. And for some reason, uh, even though he does that, uh, people have time punishing him. Yeah, it's true. I think because he mixes up his timing. And yeah, he's a lot. Really He's really good at opening players up. True. He's very good at mixing True. up throw and all that sort of and stuff. And he has a, he uses the headbutts in a way that uh, it's hard to see, like pretty, very he uses, meaty. He uses meaty it to go over the fireball. You yeah. see that? Yeah. yeah. Most of the time it's for a throw bait, but uh, it's funny. Both these players are very active. Yeah, both. Actually, very I just said it is on, on your match mm -hmm. how active uh, your neutral was. Both of you, like yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of buttons, a lot of stuff, and. Pretty convincing round by Morty right now. But it's interesting the way he presses buttons is very different the way the reason I press buttons because I'm trying to just like get a life lead and kind of make you make mistakes. But with the way he does it, he just wants to like get your face and yeah. kind of like force a uh, force an opening, you know? Yeah. Sh Shades' style is more like I don't want you to play. I just want to be like my punching bag. He's like I just want to do my setup. Let yeah. me do my ages. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Get, get hit by this, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it works. Usually. It does. It yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, he's very good at it. Oh, what a trade. Uh, actually, uh, Shades has this uh, jumping uh, heavy punch, Ooh. which he, he, he presses really early, so it's pretty hard to anti-air. Usually get at least a trade. That's true. Oh, I think it's something I need to adopt, yeah. honestly. Oh, the punish on the fireball. But second oh, well, getting nothing chase. from the second Aegis. Yeah, look at the chase. Going into the Aegis on, on the other side. Oh, what a bait on oh, the DP! Oh, the, 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 the jam! Oh, my God. Ooh. Hold it. Oh, my wow. God. My boy Shade is the oh, ballsiest of the headbutts. I already need a cigarette. My God. <laughs> it's too much, guys. Too much on a yeah. Thursday night. It's not even Friday. Yeah. You guys wait like... If you guys who are new to our stream, please tune up on uh, our monster. It's Okizeme. It's a last, every last Saturday of the month. Yeah, we got all the games. Yeah, we usually have like the over 20 people on the bracket and a lot of games. It's our most competitive tournament here at BSV. 100%. Yeah, people coming from Victoria and whatnot, you know, so it's a really good turnout. And as, as uh, for now, right, because we have the Canadian Pro Series. Yes. In May, exactly. we have, like, uh, the top eight from the points here. Yeah, we'll do, like, a double elimination, uh, eight, eight people uh, double elimination bracket. Yeah, and check our Facebook, but check that shimmy. Oh, my God. You see the wiggle back and forth? Yeah, actually, he has, like, pretty tight shimmies. He's using those, uh, you know, those Rio hips. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we are from Rio, actually, yeah, yeah, both of us. Exactly. Yeah. He's a, he has a home court advantage, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. But Mortel changed the, the scenery. Yeah, he did. Uh, the, uh, I, I think I have to update the score, right? It's like 1-0, or am I mistaken? Yeah, I think so. 1-0 Morty, right? Kenny, 1-0 Morty. Right, right, guys? On the screen? 1-0 Morty, right? 1-0 Morty. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Throw. Okay, in the throw. They have up it on edges soon. There you go. The reversal, good choice. Ooh, okay, goes into his own mirror. Yeah, excellent wants choice, yeah. Yeah, he wants to check himself out. Okay, standing so two jump. Oh, oh my god. Beast. That's it, that's it. Oh, he's the X, yeah, that's it. Wow, what an adjustment. That's what's actually, oh, no. that's what's actually an amazing play by by uh, Chase to Three use the, and, the armor, and right? And yeah, because if he didn't use that V scale, he would have lost that interaction. Yeah, right? exactly. But because be of that, he absorbed and punished yeah, still. Yeah, it was pretty good uh, ahead thinking, like. I don't know how reactive or how planned this was, but it's still amazing either way. That's amazing. My god. Yeah, so this one what point for him. Yeah, you see the early uh, heavy punch, like people can react because it, it, it gets like 
maybe 10 frames before you expect it. Yeah, and it's... especially for Pong, which is a, a tall character. Mm, that's true, that's true. The overhead. That's it. No, probably no he even might, bar. He could be. No, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, he yeah. doesn't even need to spend. No, he doesn't. Wow. I know this because you know, I took <laughs> this uh, so many times. <laughs> you get hit by it so yeah, much. We, yeah, we yeah, train yeah. a lot together, so yeah. uh, I know by heart the damage of the setups and combos. Shout out to Kobe in the chat. Nice fresh build. My metal, my metal deck suit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guess, this yeah. was super. This was super dangerous because if uh, uh, Chitz had uh, released the chop, there'd be a fresh counter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can never yeah, know when those that. are safe or not. It's hard it's so because hard. like you don't you don't want to whip punish it because you can just let it go earlier, right? Yeah. But um, there's not too much risk unless he cancels it. But he's not opting to do so, but opting for ex shoulder. Mid screen getting a throw. Oh, we nice tried to grab him again. Yeah, yeah, that was risky as hell though. Oh, once again he tried the V skill but got punished by it. I, I don't think oh. that he even got. He didn't even get the. Oh, oh my god. god. He just bounced back on him. <laughs> oh my wow. god! I hate those headbutts. That was <laughs> insane. Yeah. I would have died too. But he, he's amazing. Also, this is interesting because uh, the options for to punish would be limited because even if he whiffed the headbutt, the headbutt mm -hmm. there is the still the edges there. That's true. So they actually And he put him in a sandwich. He put yeah, him in yeah, a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Bologna and you know, yeah. sourdough. <laughs> yeah, Swiss cheese, whatever you like. What would he put on a sandwich? Sage BR, what would he yeah. put? I, I think like uh, Morty played a, a pretty active in neutral against you, but I think that for this matchup and specific for the kind of uh, player shade this is, uh, I think it would be good for him to, to slow down the neutral yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for sure, I agree. Like more zoning, because like Morty is also pretty active, right? For sure, and I think he's gonna, like, you lose the life deficit because of yeah. the damage that yep. like, trading blows with urine is usually not a good idea. Yeah, exactly. Unless you're a certain character, right? Yeah, there you go. Like, he has to, he has to, like, Slow it down, try to zone a little bit more. Yeah, look at the mobility. Oh, catches the back dash with the headbutt. That's right, Shimmy, uh, Martin didn't bait. Nice punish, this is like minus seven or something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, okay, good block play. Yeah, okay, to headbutt to catch the Still, gap. That's what actually, once wow. again, a pretty good decision because of the life lead. So even if he got punished, uh, even with crash counter and whatnot, it wouldn't have killed. So wow, double fierce. Here we go. Amazing. Stagger low into the shimmy. Are you looking so perfect here? Oh! oh someone paused! What happened? Are we gonna keep the rocket? I guess we are. I don't know, no. Shades just just uh, gave up the match for some reason. I, think I don't know what happened. Might have. Might have, yeah. Wow, damn. That was an accident. Oh, wow. Man, that's, so, that's so unfortunate. But he's got the crown now. Oh, yeah. power up! Yeah. <laughs> That could be an achievement when you, if you win with the crown, right? <laughs> yeah. It probably should be. Yeah. Actually, it's weird because if you throw... Oh, what a confirm it. Oh, he super. wants the life lead right now. Off the jab. Yeah. yeah. Big life lead. Half also, life deficit. Yeah, also the mental damage, right? Oh, oh my god, I'm already uh, behind the life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the nice shimmy! Shimmy! I mean, could be dead on one mix-up. <gasps> oh. One side, back throw. Four throw again. Take the throw, J Shades. Oh my god. Oh my god, conversion. This is no balling. Morty has meter, though. Oh, the side to This is no balling. Oh, no, no, this is bad. Ooh, faded the EX oh my god, with the command no dash. Are you beat. serious? Are you serious? serious? Wow, that was insane in my membrane. With everyone's membrane. Holy. Wow. Oof. Wow. Oh my god, what's happening? Is this a CPT I've major? Never seen, <laughs> I've never seen DP avoidance so yeah, amazing. slippery like. You're on ice. You're like your Colleen or something. What? Because <laughs> he's on ice, you know? Oh, he's okay. Like slipping around. Crazy. Uh, I would like to see Shades go into the, the character select to not get flustered. But I'm mistaken, empty low. Everything is working right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's always ready with the punish. I, 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 I personally don't, don't agree with, uh, with the decision of going for the mix-up and getting himself in the corner. Yeah, I agree too. Especially uh, against Fang. I think it's not worth it. Especially with his life lead. And not having a 3-frame either. You're taking risks, right? Yep. Oh, and Stagger, he almost had a counter hit conversion. A lot of buttons from Shades right now. Violent well, drop. Oh, one catching in the back dash. Shades needs to to stop to Oh to my god. While oh. drop catching the crouch medium punch. Well I thought I thought Martin would have time to block it. Yeah. It's I weird. think he was just being a little preemptive. Because it was not even a, a counter hit. I think he no like he he he, he blocked low I think. Maybe. Yeah yeah I think he did too. And again Morty now putting the pressure on trying to get on to match point. Trying to keep shades away from this. Walking back on the cloud. Shades should have a reverse over here. Yeah. Yeah there, there you go. go. Yeah get the pressure off. Oh no, overcommit on the throw, oh that's enough to stun! 
can you kill off of this? No, I think not. There's one more mix up. Oh, I'm mistaken. Oh, he didn't get oh, the yeah, save. No, okay. Oh, what a mix up. But That's I think fine. he could have expend. I think he uh, want to save resources because I think he could he could uh, yax bo uh, fireball in, in the mm. corner for for juggling. You know. Yeah. But I'm not sure though. And uh, Tekken already finished. Already finished. And that throw. It was before fighting X Lair. If you want to know. Nice tagger short. Oh no, Anti on the no side of Morty. Yeah, that's it because of the early hit. Oh, yes, yeah. he needs a challenge. No, once again, he got put himself in the corner. This is too dangerous. And again, look at this aggression. He just wants to. Oh, oh the shimmy. shimmy. I like that's how he's opening him up in neutral. Very good choice. Oh, he uses the headbutt to avoid the mix up on the airy set. Oh, he's going to slow down. down. Too no, far. don't do it. You have all the life in the world. Yeah, nice fear reversal. I like that choice. Keep the stun low. You don't want to get stunned. Over commitment on the stand medium punch though. Could cost him. The nice. Back throw. Patience, no Big damage. Oh, nice. So this was all, all in. All in. On. This was all in because it was like wow. minus seven or something. Okay. If he had missed it, it'd be punished and yeah. he had life and resources. Man, you're playing out of his mind. Good luck. I can root for you, but <laughs> actually my heart's torn. I don't know who, who, who should I root for. <laughs> Once again, guys, this is Street Fighter. Now it's Grand Finals. Uh, Geki, Geki on, on winners and, uh, and Shades on losers. So Shades has to win once to get a reset. And then play once again, uh, win once again. First to three, both sets. And once again, I apologize. This is my first uh, solo flight. I'm not a na native speaker. Sorry about my accent, accent. Once again, commentary is usually much better on, on stream than what, what we're having right now. Sup, Ranks, where are you? Where is that demonic Mika to make us hate the game? Where are you? For those of you who are new to the stream, VSB scene, Ranks is our top Mika player. He is really, really good. And he always body me. <laughs> and I want to, to blame the character, but he's just too good. So if you want to, to get some Mika play, watch Ranks. Is there anyone else from VSB there? Uh, maybe, maybe Chris Estrella? I mean, Daddy, Daddy Gale. <laughs> Is he here? Okay, so the chemi stage, I love it. Vega versus Urian. I said both players have been having a pretty uh, active neutral today. A lot of buttons and uh, actually a lot of risks. Uh, the, stra the general strategy from Geki that he used against Morty from using the Barcelona to cross up probably won't, ha won't, won't work against Shades because Shades and it's a pretty uh, preemptive that I air with the back heavy kick that gets on both sides. So we probably see a more ground-based uh, neutral game here. So some footsies. Double dash by Shades, pretty bold. The yeah, edges, probably a view reversal, there you go. Uh, just reminding you that the first uh, edges activation has more frame advantage. There are some setups that are only possible on the first activation. So it's totally worth to be reversal the first edges. So um, you lose this, this setup. Also the second activation uh, is unsafe, depending on the distance you activate. So um, Shades has to be aware, has to be like put him on a good setup or a block swing or something. Nice neutral jump, getting the dash. Then the frame traps, Shades tried to press something, it seems, and got caught. Try to chop, oh, there you go, punish on the slide. Usually Geki gets away with a lot of free slides. And I, I think uh, I, I talked to Shades and he had specifically uh, kept an eye on those. There you go, once again. Nice bait on the EX headbutt. Juggling with the EX tackle. Though, sorry, the, the, the normal tackle. 
Shades has a life advantage. I don't see. Uh, I think he will win. Actually, I don't. Like Shades is pretty aggressive regardless of life and resource lead. So probably uh, we see an activation from the slide from Geki right now. And got we punish with the CA. Oh my god. I don't know if it was a reaction. I think not. It was just a, a buffer. But still, it was a pretty good read because uh, Geki likes to activate from the heavy slide. Or the slide. So it was pretty amazing buffer. Uh, Geki with all the resources in the world right now. Although I'm not sure how useful resources are uh, EX is on this matchup because it, it still doesn't have a, a, a reversal. Oh, there you go, just said it. Like, oh, I didn't do this commentary today, so he used the, the CA because uh, there's, I don't think there's any advantage of uh, keeping the, the bar from this matchup. Double life lead, so he can survive um, from the from the, uh, the deadly uh, Shades IAG uh, setups. I like the patience from Geki right now, because he has a life lead and there is no need for him to rush in. Nice neutral jump, red the dash. It's the second time Shades get caught by that. He has to be aware. Uh, as I said, um, I don't think I think that Vega. I may be mistaken here. Uh, ranks or anyone who has a better uh, understanding of the game than me. But I think that Vega is one of the few characters besides like Dawson and Mena that outranges uh, Urian with bottoms, with the claw, so it seems that it's making uh, Shades uh, uh, make, making Shades having to play on a, on a not that comfortable uh, distance. Nice, now it's time, is, 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 uh, Shades turn to neutral jump and punish this wide. Double throw, that's next. Another throw, it's a perfect, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ranks, you do understand the game. If you if you win, you understand the game. So uh, blocked the X tackle, got punished by the throw. Fresh counter. There you go. As I said, Shades is uh, looking for the instant change. He didn't let Geki get away with it. Although he didn't buffer anything else. So he got the X tackle overhead. Nice block. I think it's plus two with that, and so you still have to kind of guess. Nice CX Barcelona. Probably an edges, there you go. Got me some resets right now. Overhead. Nice. Throw into the edges. Uh, he's not dead with one more mix up. Quick side. Throw. Nice. Nice mental fortitude from Shades. He was getting caught. He lost like half his life almost, and did almost no damage. Good to see him uh, get concentrated and do what he, you know, what he does. My boy Shades on the Round scoreboard. 1-1. One, one. As I said, uh, Geek using the long, uh, the long range buttons to keep uh, Shades honest. A lot of buttons right now. I'd like to see more uh, reactive uh, buttons from Geki because uh, Shades has been pressing a lot of buttons, so maybe it's time for him to try to, you know, react to some of them instead of uh, getting a, a read. Nice flash. Shades putting some armor. That, that trade, weird, never saw this trade before. Now, now Shades has to be aware because uh, Geki likes to bait those counters like with a slide or something. So uh, he has to be extra patient and, and take some of the pressure so to not get caught by the VT2. Although this seems like a significant life lead. Oh, well, okay, there you go. What I was gonna say is that uh, Shades with two bars and a Fugi trigger, 50% life lead is basically nothing. You just have to take one mix up and you're, you're toast. Patience right now. There you go, Geki once again uh, using the range from Cloud Vega to keep uh, Shades on us. You see, like how Shades has been having difficulty to get the buffers 
because uh, the range is too good for Vega and not that good for Mirin right now. Also, guys, feel free, as I'm uh, first commentating, feel free to say, hey, you're just talking a lot of crap, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, that's point of if I'm misreading something. So the double throw, the pressure, now this, this is uh, worrying. Why no activation? Oh my god, this is put uh, Geki with life lead. Although Shades is fully, uh, fully stacked, I premiered like a command throw. Oh, I thought he was gonna command throw, and it seems like Shades also thought so. I think there was a, a neutral jump over there, but we got the, the midi. Oh, there you go, yeah, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> we play a lot together, we know our own mannerisms in the game, so we can get those kind of reads. And actually, this is uh, pretty uh, amazing that Geek has been changing his play style a little bit to get uh, people by surprise, and it has been working so far. So, back to the match. Once again, nice anti air. Tackle. Another throw. Actually, Geek, it seems like Geek has been opting to take the throws a lot because of the shimmies. They're so deadly. Nice speed reversal. I, I, I have no idea if it was actually a true punish to the. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> he basically cha cha chased the fireball. Oh, and that is actually, this, uh, I forgot to mention, this is a, a run back. Uh, Geki sent uh, shades to losers today. Oh my god. With the snowball here, actually gave up corner position. Oh my god, that was actually, once again, a pretty ballsy. Um, EX headbutt. He, tried, he went for the command throw. But uh, if he hadn't, that'll be it. Nice buffer on medium on, on tackle. Plus claw. Midi, midi claw. EX knee. Actually, I like the adjustments. Uh, I'm seeing, I, it seems that I'm uh, seeing more fireballs from. from Sheets right now, so uh, I like it. Uh, I think it's it's the key on this neutral because uh, he has been outranged the entire match. There you go, try it again. Like keep pressure from afar since uh, he can uh, counter poke or even with punish properly because of the range difference. Fresh counter once again. Yeki getting a lot of millage by the pokes. Try to react it was a trap. So Yeki. Uh, tournament point right now. Nice jumping. Got, got, got Chase trying to buffer the heavy punch. Yak tackle. Shades need to win this to keep the game to to be, keep up, kept alive in the tournament. Fireball, charge the fireball. There you go. Trade, nice trade. Oh my god, the neutral jump. Oh my god, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt. Going all in, a lot of scaling. Doesn't matter. Because you got... Didn't, didn't bait, didn't... Oh my god! Oh crap, oh, sorry. <laughs> gonna say more more eye edges. Tied the overhead twice, no, no dice. Now spent all the resources, have to make a pretty good comeback without resources. No claw right now. Claw again. There you go, dash up throw. That's it. That's it, good games. Amazing stuff by Geki, like the adjustments on neutral. Uh, like the, the millage he got from the claw style to outrange um, Urian, pretty good stuff. And my boy Shades, my boy Shades wasn't that time, but actually this is not uh, all lost. He got some points for our Capcom, oh sorry, Canada Pro, Pro Series, uh, top eight, uh, top seven plus the last chance qualifier. We all uh, dispute a tournament on I don't remember when, but it's like May or something. <laughs> um, pretty convincing uh, wins. Uh, but winners didn't lose a single match in this tournament, and, and that's, that was amazing. Hey, Geki! Come on, string! 
Hey, Geki. Geki. Can't hear me. <laughs> Geki. Oh, okay. Oh, they're taking the photo, okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, these are uh, thanks for watching. This was uh, sponsored by uh, Correctors Cup, Canadian Justice, Better Gear. Uh, you should check them out. them out. They have pretty good stuff, amazing chairs, cool cups uh, with uh, uh, game themed cups, including Street Fighter, of course. Um, and uh, stay tuned for for all of our tournaments. We have tournaments from Wednesday to Sunday. So you can see you guys in the stream. We have uh, Smash main weekly VS uh, on Sunday. Uh, Street Fighter main weekly is on Saturday. That is our schedule. So guys, you have always pretty uh, cool matches. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, sorry for my commentating. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.